Itadakimasu. My first freaking order from the TikTok shop. Oh my God, y'all. I'm excited, I'm happy because I got my nails done and I'm not just about to go home and, you know, just like guys when they get their hair cut, which I feel in myself, period. to the channel it's too too late and y'all um i'm doing my coloring right now which i have not done in a minuto it's like 12 a.m i took a nap earlier so i was just like out you know my sleeping schedule you know sometimes we get messed up you know it goes back and forth but I uh, just wanted to introduce the vlog and say hello. You know what? This diamond art back here keeps coming off my second one. And it's being a hater very much. And I think that just reminds me that I need to, um, or I think that's just spirit. You know, the universe trying to tell me that I need to go buy more arts, diamond arts, because I haven't done those in a minute. And when I start them, I just get so obsessed with finishing them. It's just... It's something about it but yeah that's not what i'm doing right now i'm actually doing some coloring um which i just got the urge to i'm glad i'm happy because my little creative spurt got is coming back i mean you know i've been creative on with like digital art and digital you know content creation and stuff like that which is obviously still creative but um my actual physical creation is coming back too or like not physical but fine arts Creativity is coming back too, cause y'all know, if you don't know, you need to scroll down on my page, because hello, no, I'm, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, if you don't know, um, I actually really love coloring. I love journaling. I love bullet journals and stuff like that, making bullet journal spreads, weekly spreads and stuff. And um, also coloring and doing mandala colorings. So this is the one that I'm on right now. We're adding in some, um, this is just one of the quote books. It's like just filled with quotes that have, that are just like mandala colorings as well. So that's the one I'm on right now. That's the one that I was, I just finished, well, didn't finish, but just kind of changed, pivoted from doing, cause I feel like this purple kind of threw it all the way off, but we don't have to forget it some other way. So I just started off with this tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm happy that I'm getting back into my coloring and my creativity is just, you know, coming back full circle. It's always just going to flow and fluctuate in different ways. But um, yeah, speaking of that, that diamond art, I need to, let me check out. Let me show you. I'm just going to, I really need to put it up with something better than just the tape. That's why I keep freaking falling. But this one, a lot of the diamonds came off. That's what I don't like. But okay, this one is just like little pots, you know. I have a vlog of this too. Like I finished this what, like two months ago, probably in like um, I finished that in June or something, and I did that one in June too when I was in the other apartment. So yeah, I need to hang these up with um something better than tape, you know. And I'm gonna do that with y'all. And then, like, I'm, I feel like I'm at the phase now of just, like, adding, like, not final touches, but just, like, really improving my home, home, you know, improving the foundation that I've created for myself here. Like, the creativity is coming back. I was just thinking I need to go grocery shopping again. Like, I've only done, like, one big grocery shop since being here, and I need to do another one. You know, y'all be seeing me buy little stuff, small stuff here and there, but I need to go like another big grocery shopping because I got some meat, but I don't have like salmon. I haven't cooked salmon or shrimp in a minute, like since I've, in a few months, girl. So I need some salmon. I need, I also wanna make a salad or something. I have like chicken thighs, I have ground beef, but it's only so many things, so many ways that you can cook those two things. So I need to give me some salmon, some uh, seafood in my system, and some greens. I also need to show you girls and guys 
this tea that I just bought. I have finally received it in um I just received it uh in the in the mail today from TikTok. It was the first my first freaking order from the TikTok shop. Oh my god, y'all y'all know TikTok is is my jam, okay? So um not as my jam, like I'm a freaking auntie. But yeah, TikTok besties. Cause it took me a little minute to get acclimated with the girl, but you know, cause I just used to be picking up the camera and doing stuff like that. But like, and even then, like some people that make the short film that's like, boop, 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 they have like fifty thousand films or or fifty thousand cuts in a sixty second video. I'd be like, Jesus Christ, my mind is crossing, baby. But I am still getting, you know, I'm getting used to TikTok getting more but you know getting better with the short form and stuff like that but um yeah I do like her of course you know she's always really great for and has always been good for like the newest search engine you know what I'm saying she's good to just find new stuff new foods I, I have like I be saving every goddamn thing and I have like two pages on there so I have one page just for like my professional stuff and then I have another page that's like I just be retweeting anything. I be saving anything, and it's just like completely different. It's just like two different sides of me, and two different filters, and you know, um, timelines that really resonate with two different sides of me. So, mm -hmm. but I found that to say, like I, I be saving a whole bunch of food, and I also gotta bring back more cooking content for you girls. Like I know y'all like to see me cooking. And I need to be cooking too and meal prepping. You know, I need to buy some. Let me write that down too. I need to buy some more Tupperware bowls. Like, I need to do some deep, like, Tupperware bowls. Um, like, purchases. Not deep purchases, but big purchases for, like, certain things. You know, household items. A mop. I already have, like, a... A broom and dustpan and stuff like that but like I need a mop a good mop set and um what else I'm low so stuff to mop the floor uh y'all didn't hurt me groceries and stuff like that but anyway hello I just want to introduce the box I ain't want to talk y'all ears off but I'm just about to show you guys a few um clips of me because I'm just sitting here watching uh chelsea janae her vlogtober so she just reminded me that you know consistency is key and that i need to just be i need to continue just being on my hip period so let me show you how this because i just woke up and i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be up till probably 3 a.m or something like that until i go back to sleep so
I'm watching, um, what is this? Oh, Get Out. I'm watching Get Out. So, I'm about to watch this, finish my night, and, or, and call it a night after this. But, this is how far I've gotten in my coloring. I'm feeling the urge to finish it. Probably not these little circles, but, yeah, I've gotten pretty far. We'll see how far I'll get, and I'll update you guys tomorrow. So, good night. Everywhere I go in program now, I'm gonna see them. They have like four things. See, but don't. This is the difference. There. The original price is thirty dollars, like I told you, fifteen and another thing. And they have one, two, four things of them. It's like everywhere I go in Kroger, I'm gonna just find them now. But. I just got the octopus one, so I'm not gonna get a second one until like, I'm gonna hold off for a few, okay? Hey y'all, so I really need to invest in a car mount, number one, I'm gonna just say that, cause y'all are leaning up on a purse. But anyway, um, today's the next day, I just wanted to introduce a little bit. I don't know if I'm going, that's why I just said I need to invest in one of those. But um, I'm going to put, Basically, um, I don't know if this whole day is going to be in this this Vlogtober because, you know, I got to keep these up to date and stuff like that. Or just like, you know, not super long. So basically, um, I wanted to show you guys that I'm about to go get my nails done. Okay, I just filmed a short form video. So now I'm about to do, obviously I have to update you guys. So I'm about to... Um, I'm on my way to a nail appointment. I'm excited because I really need my nails, toes, and eyebrows done. Okay? And a wax over here. We need everything done. Okay? So, can y'all guess what color I'm going to get? I feel like I have two colors that's kind of in my mind right now. Ooh, that's pretty too, but I don't want that. I'm thinking of either a burnt orange or, or like a, um, I just had to call it the color whatchamacallit green not army it's called something else the other green it just had it on the tip of my tongue but yeah that other green or either burnt orange so we gonna see can y'all guess which one i'm gonna get leave a comment before you guess or something yo 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 i'm at the thing as you all can see look at the color of course can you guess the theme <laughs> and i did not get my motherfucking waxes because her wax is not on so we're gonna be back tomorrow but yeah this is not completely orange it is it do look orange orangey but it's red orange okay that's come for me i didn't even really want to get super orangey but she sucked me into it who cares and i ended up getting the um the green too on my toes which i shall show you guys later but um i don't know i might be ending this vlog right here because i see a few places that i need to go i need to go get they got a trader hose right here in the same plaza so let me go in the trader hose and um see what they got something there and williamson not williamson no more but um what's the other place that i just saw her pottery, pottery barn I want to go into there. That's like a, a home decor place. So, yeah, I might start a new vlog, though. So, mm-hmm. Toodaloo, toodaloo. Uh, I don't really know much about uh, Trader Joe's wine, but I hear a lot about it. He's, um, this guy over here is recommending me Rioja. It has 14% on the bitch. But um, I also tried a little bit of Buzzball today, too, for the first time. So, I don't know, but I'm not feeling I'm not feeling buzzball. That's too that's too late right now. Um, so should I try one or should I just stick to my regular? I'm thinking I want to stick to my regular and just go to all these. <laughs> go to all these because he's not really recommending me anything good. So I did not end up getting anything from um whatchamacallit from Trader Joe's because nothing really sold me. Um but I'm at this little nice plaza. And I'm feeling good. I'm excited. I'm happy because I got my nails done. And I'm not just about to go home and, you know, just like guys when they get their hair cut, which I'm feeling myself. Period. So, 
Oh, I also wanted to introduce, hello, hello, hello. It's a new vlog. Welcome or welcome back to the Flossy Flossy. If you want to join, just hit that red subscribe button down below. I'm Tula Antonia. If you're new, I make lifestyle, fashion, motivational, and um, also entrepreneurial content as well. So if any of that interests you, hit the red subscribe button. But I was saying that I'm about to, um, I'm just here chilling because I just got my nails done. I got orange not exactly orange red orange let's talk about it yeah i'm about to um probably go into this altar right here and then i want to go into pottery barn after because i saw that there's one near where i'm at um and i've never been to a party or barn and i'm the queen of home decor <laughs> like i was obsessed with um what was the one when i went into it i was obsessed with i need to go to it today go to it not today but soon too but the last time i've been was in west elm was it west elm west elm yeah west elm I, the last time i was there was in orlando so i gotta go to the location here in dallas because you know they have a lot of uh and they also have a um rh whatever rest restoration hardware yeah or or restorative whichever what is rh they have one here and I've been wanting to uh, go, you know, and so yeah, because I love, I love home decor, I love, you know, I love anything where you can like decorate, duh, I love decorating, I love creating, I love crafting, I love, the fashion, so yeah, it's just kind of the aesthetics and stuff, so. I'm going to go into our age at one point, not today, but today we are going to go into a um, pottery barn. So I'll see you there. <laughs> uh, slight change of plans, a little bit, not really much change, but this how I'll be when I'm really, when I finally have time to actually do what I'll be wanting to do. I love window shopping, not even window shopping, bitch, I sh be shopping. The fuck I be shopping. Some places I be window shopping because I just be walking in and out. Like I love me a good plaza. I love me a good mall. Where I just do whatever I want to do and just be wasting time, you know? Cause I, like just I just heard this other lady in Kroger. She was saying that um she like going shopping by herself because she don't like to feel rushed, and that's true as fuck. I love to just go in and out of stores, just looking around at stuff and just be like ooh, 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 ooh. and that's the type of grocery shop that I need to go do because I haven't just you know the old lady in me. I haven't just gone. I would literally go to a grocery shop store. It never used to just be grocery stores, though. That's how I know that I'm an adult now. Because I actually have fun sometimes when I just go to a grocery store and pick up anything that I want to buy and get that shit, period. But um, now I kind of do that, or I've always kind of enjoyed doing that with, um, with other types of stores, like clothing stores, you know, all these other types of stores, even home decor stores. But now in this plaza that I just told you about um, I'm in a good little plaza over here and I see half price books if y'all know I, th I think that's just a Texas thing I've only know I've seen it in Texas but this is a store called half price books and it's it got exactly that it's literally like a barn barns and notable noble but everything is like half price it's like a thrift store for books so I'm excited and, and stationary things like that so I might have to go pick me up a quick little book to read. And then we'll probably go to, um, then after that, we'll go to Pottery Barn. Yeah. I just want to see if anything pop out at me because I am in need for a new book. Need a new book. Even though I did just start watching Orange is the New Black and it kind of was capturing my attention a little bit, even though it was still kind of behind the scenes, a little, it was just like background noise. But I need something to hold my interest. You know what I'm saying? Because shows are not always the greatest for me. Like, it's hard for me to stay focused on one series if it's not intriguing. And the, the most intriguing ones be limited series. So, um, I'm also looking for that. Or either, um, so yeah, I'm willing to invest in a new mystery book.
Look, I'm in the games section. I didn't even know they had a game section in here. But look, it says tea time. There's a tea time. Paint and pretend. You know, this is up my alley. Okay. I wish they had this for like um, pumpkins with all of the things you needed. Like the carving kit and everything. Because I need to carve the pumpkins that I have at home. Um, and paint them and stuff. But I don't feel like buying <laughs> the shit separately. This is so cute though. Tea time, tea time. Come here for games, half price games too. This is why I go to all these. Okay, because I just tried the other one, the peach that they had in the mango and now sweet cranberry. This one looked real good too, but I'm not gonna get it this time. I'm just gonna try the cranberry. I know it's gonna be good. I've had this one, the pineapple, and then the mango of that same Pacific Fruit Fire fingers. But that looks really good. Pomegranate? So I'm back home. Just left all these. Got my Twitter. Twitter. Okay, I forgot how much of a wine girly I was. Mixed drinks is okay. Mixed drinks is a quick runner up. But um too much liquor, like them shots and shit, and straight liquor, and sometimes too many mixed drinks, like it'd be too heavy on my stomach. Too heavy on my stomach. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time for hangovers. Mm -mm. I don't like to feel pain in my stomach because I be thinking that I'm about to die for real. Because Going from having PCOS symptoms to, you know what I'm saying, like horrible PCOS symptoms, it's like it really just got me PTSD. Traumatized, child. So, let me close these lines. So, oh. Speaking of PCOS symptoms, okay, so there's the the tea that I told y'all about yesterday or in the last vlog. I don't know if that, that other clip is in the last vlog or in this vlog, whichever one, because I just started in the vlog. But basically, I just started getting this uh, PCOS hormone balancer tea from a TikTok shop that I found. It's called Remedy and Restore. And it's literally just a herbal, a loose herb tea. And I'm so thankful because I've been trying to make my own version of this, you know, but with all my own little herbs. Because I, I already have nettle, but I don't have red raspberry, I don't have ginger, nor do I have spearmint. So that's what's all in here. And, you know, the comments were giving amazing, amazing, amazing reviews, if y'all can see that. Amazing reviews. It don't look like much. Y'all know what herbs look like. It smells good, though. It smells like, you know, the spearmint. So I give y'all an update on that company. As I move along with them, I'm going to start drinking them on a daily, especially as it gets closer to my period. I'm going to be drinking that tea like all day when on the days that my period comes on and a few days leading up to my period, I'm definitely going to be drinking it because I think I have PCOS or at least I have the sy symptoms. It's either PCOS or endometriosis. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed with either. I don't really want to be. But I have the symptoms for, like, both. They have very similar symptoms. So, people in the comments was really just, like, giving their testimonies and stuff. So, I just thought I would give it a try. Okay. And I'm really, fingers crossed that I'm really going to have, like, some amazing, amazing improvements. Because it's not just the cramps. It's not just the heavy heavy bleeding. It's not just the bleeding. And even then, I've been, I started to bleed. Like, my period has been lasting for, like, two weeks. Come the fuck on. Literally, it'll go six, seven days, and then it'll stop, and then it'll come back on for another six or seven days. Well, the first time it did that, it was another six or seven days, but it's been like 10 to 14 days. That's not fucking regular. Okay? And then they be heavy at the beginning. I don't got time for that. But it's not even just that. I also have symptoms of, I've always been excessive sweating, like an excessive sweater. So, I and I've learned too that that's a, that could be, that's a symptom of imbalanced hormones as well. And 
skin, I mean, growing excessive hair, excessive sweating, and also I think body odor too, you know, all of that. It has, it balances your hormones. So I'm really hoping, and I believe that that shit is going to work and enhance things that I don't even know need to be enhanced, okay? And as y'all saw, I got my nails and toes done today, so I'm glad I got that. It's a self-care day. It's Saturday, by the way. And right now, I'm about to taste this Pacific Fruit Vineyards Sweet Cranberry for y'all. Because that's a new flavor, and I hope it's not... I hope that shit is not, um... I hope it is not fucking seasonal because this flavor, y'all, y'all heard me in the last video. I love the cranberry cocktail. I love it, the cranberry. Cranberry me, please. And cranberry wine, that's different. And even then, y'all saw the other one, pomegranate wine. We gonna have to get that one next time. Pomegranate wine, cranberry wine. I also tried blush ball. As a tester, um, when I was doing Instacart earlier today, and whoo that little shit for 15, 15, you definitely gonna taste it, even in a little sip, you can definitely taste it, so, let's try this, itadakimasu, if you know what that's from, or what it means, mmm, they did that. They did ah! I already know it's gonna taste good. Cranberry juice. Oh yeah. Mm. New fave, baby. New fave. So that's what I'm about to do. I haven't been home all damn day. So I'm back to the way. Spark up. Unwind, wash these dishes, and watch some TV. Okay. Okay. Cut cameras. That is. That is. <laughs>